Mississippi carried me home. Now I can see I. I thought it would be valuable to explain the basics of what transitional fossils are, since creationists and even non-creationists both tend to confuse them with intermediate fossils or even imaginary and impossible fossils. First, I wish to quote from a creationist website from two ignorant cultists who call themselves, quote, the good reporters, unquote. That website has a very odd web page that is called, quote, a creationist challenge to evolutionist, unquote. Though nowhere is the word evolutionist defined. If you are interested in the bogus so-called challenge, you can view the video on YouTube made by an idiot named Skeptic Antidote. Imagine calling oneself an antidote to an antidote. It's like being called an antidote to penicillin. Anyhow, that webpage has a very ignorant and false idea regarding what scientists say transitional fossils actually are. The webpage states, quote, One of the most powerful pieces of evidence against evolution is the fossil record. No, it isn't. If evolution occurred by slow, minute changes in living creatures, there would be thousands of times more transitional forms of these creatures in the fossil beds than complete forms. Complete forms. Since the billions of fossils that have been found are com all complete forms, the obvious conclusion is evolution has never occurred, unquote. Good bloody gods. That absurdity shows a fundamental lack of knowledge regarding what scientists actually claim regarding how evolution works as well as what transitional fossils are. All species that have ever lived were fully formed. All species that currently live are also fully formed. All species in the future that will exist will be fully formed. If scientists ever found a species that is not fully formed, that would be a major blow against evolutionary theory. And evolutionary theory would have to be modified to include that astounding discovery. The creationist who wrote that paragraph does not have a bloody clue about what the hell he's talking about. And that is the point of this video. All fossils are transitional fossils. What a scientist means by a transitional fossil is that it falls between two other species. A scientist does not just dig up a fossil and say, this is a transitional fossil. Scientists say, this is a fossil between A and B fossils. Without two reference points, it makes no sense to say a fossil is a transitional or not a transitional fossil. To continue quoting the webpage, quote, Though evolutionists have stated there are many transitional forms, this is simply not true. What evolutionists claim to be transitional forms all have fully functional parts, unquote. That is just stupid. All species that have ever existed all have had fully functional parts, with the exception of vestigial organs and features. No species has ever existed that had partially formed parts. If scientists ever found a species with partially formed features, that would be a major problem for evolutionary theory, and the theory would have to be modified. And to quote the next sentence on the webpage, quote, A true transitional form would have non-functioning parts or appendages, such as the nub of a leg or a wing, unquote. No, it would not. Evolution does not work that way, and no scientist expects any transitional fossil to show such a thing. I have said that all fossils are transitional fossils. That is not true for species that have gone extinct without speciation. So, to conclude, when creationists claim there are no transitional fossils, 
They do so because they are bloody ignorant about what a transitional fossil is, and bloody ignorant regarding how evolution works, and bloody ignorant about what scientists say about evolution and how evolution works. They do not see transitional fossils because they expect to see that which no scientist claims exists. I trust this is perfectly clear to the meanest understanding, though I am quite aware that creationists are completely unable to learn such things. Where the hell is the off button?